Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in orange and we are learning to calculate the probability of given events using a Poisson distribution. And big emphasis, we are focusing on greater than questions. And these questions are different to questions from two previ previous videos where we found the probability of an exact event and the probability of a less than event. Today we're doing the more complicated version where we're finding the probability of a greater than event. Um, to help us with our explanation and our context, I've got some stats about James Harden who plays with the Houston Rockets. So let's say I've gone to the Toyota Center in Houston and I'm here to watch James Harden. I wanted to know, well, what is the probability that he lands three, no, let's say more, let's say he lands five or more three-pointers in that game because that's what I'm here to see. I'm here to see James Harden. Um, bury some threes and I found out from some research that he has on average throughout his career 2.8 three-pointers per game so what we suggested is we wanted to know well when is he going to get five or more three-pointers that's what we're, we're looking for five or more three-pointers and we always start our questions with our number line, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to stop at 8, and that's because 8 is a couple more than 5, which is what we're interested in. And we need to shade in the area that we're interested in. And this area, 5 or more, does it include 5? Yep, definitely does. So 5 or anything extra. So we're going to circle all of that area there. So these are the ones we are interested in. The only issue with this one is, for our listening questions, we were told to circle the highest value, and that's our x value for our calculator. We can't do that with this question. What I'm, I'm going to change pen color is just to emphasize something. So our graphics calculators only work in this direction. It has to start at zero, and it goes up until you tell it to stop. That means we can't tell it to start at 5 and go onwards. But what we can do is we can find the smaller group because we know that group plus that group, so group A plus group B, they will add together to be 1 because they represent all possible outcomes. All of the outcomes will be included. So to find the problem group B, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go 1 minus group A. So when we're finding B, in reality, we actually need to find out the first group or the probability of that first group. So what that means is we're interested in this group, and that means that 4 is actually the x value that we're interested in. So we're not interested in any x value within our green area because our calculator won't do that area, but it will do that bottom portion. Our lambda, well, that's going to be 2.8. And because we're interested in 1, 2, 3, 4, we're accumulating or cumulative function is what we need. So we're going to be using the PCD function. And if we did all that, the probability of there being four or less three-pointers in that game would be, just putting them in my calculator now, so x is 4, lambda is 2.8. So he's going to be 0.8477. So 84, 85% of the time, he'll be scoring four or less. And that means to find the probability of five or more, we've got to go one minus that earlier probability we just calculated. And that gives us the leftover portion, which is here. And when we put that in the calculator, we're going to get 0 0.1523. And that there would be a number rounded to 4 GP. So hopefully that makes sense. We can't calculate the green area of 5 or more, but we can calculate the 4 or less area. And we can then do the 1 minus P trick or the 1 minus the probability of the other group to calculate the probability of our larger group. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to run through four more activities, four more examples that highlight how to calculate the probability using a Poisson distribution of a greater than features.
And while we're at it, today's code word is three pointers. So make sure you pop that down in the YouTube description below or on Teams um, to make sure you, I know you've listened this far. Okay, guys, and we're back. And I've got five examples on the board. So I added in a fifth one just to see what it's like. And we're going to run through all the scenarios. So the first one, what is the probability that James Harden lands exactly two three-pointers? Well, this here is actually one of those exact questions. And in that case, the x was equal to 2. The lambda, that was equal to 2.8. And because we're interested in exactly 2, we're actually going to be using the PPD mode. And that meant the probability of James Harden getting exactly two three-pointers was, so distributions, percent, PPD, 2, x is 2, lambda is 2.8. So probability of that. 0 0.28, sorry, 2384. So nearly one in four times he's going to get exactly two three pointers based on that average. So the next question um, what's the probability of him getting less than two three pointers? So let's draw a number line because it says less than, so it's an inequality. So we've got to make sure we've got the right x value. So let's stop at four. So less than two. For me, that's 0 and 1 only. And the biggest number in that group is x equals 1. So we're going to have a value x equals 1, our lambda 2.8. And because we've got multiple numbers, we're interested in 0, interested in 1, we're going to be using PCD mode. So that means the probability of there being less than two three-pointers, that is going to be... so. So on PCD, X is 1, Lambda is 2.8, so that is 0 0.2311. So those were recaps of the two previous videos, and let's see how they're different with the greater than questions that we just learned about. So the next one is, what is the probability of more 10 or more three-pointers? So I'm going to change pink colors. So we need to draw a number line. So the number line will be quite big here, but it is important that we do them properly. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And let's just do a dot, 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 just to show it goes over. So which of these values would be 10 or more? Well, 10 or more would be this end here. So this is a greater than question. We can't calculate those amounts. But what we can do is we can calculate from 0 all the way up. So for this group, our highest value would be 9. So our x value is going to be 9. Our lambda is still going to be 2.8. And we're going to be using PCD mode because we want to do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when we do that in our calculator, the probability of there being less than or equal to 9 three-pointers by James Harden in that game is 0 0.9993 and that then means using our 1 minus p trick so the probability of x being 10 or more is equal to 1 minus that previous probability 1 minus 0 0.9993 that's going to be equal to 0 0.0007 so a very very small chance that James Harden will get 10 or more three pointers in that game and that was a recap of the greater than questions where we're using the portion we're not interested in to actually find out the answer and the next question what is the probability of him getting f more than five so let's do our number line up top zero one two three four five six seven eight stop at nine we now need to circle the portion that we're interested in so we're interested in more than five so is five more than five it is not, it's equal to, so it's not more than 5. So we're actually interested in 6, 7, 8, 9, and onwards. So don't remember, that does go 10, 11, 12. In theory, it includes 100 as well. We can't calculate that area, but we can calculate the area below it, of which the highest value is 5. So our x value is going to be 5, and our lambda is going to be 2.8, and we're going to continue with PCD, because we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all in that range. 
So we put five as that. The probability of being five or less, well, that's 0 0.9. Three, four, nine, and we've rounded that to four dp. We can't stop there though, because we actually got to calculate six or more. So we're going to use the one minus p trick to find the probability of that area. So the probability of there being six or more three pointers is going to be one minus the previous group, and that's going to be zero point zero six. Five, one. So about 6% of the time, or 6.5% of the time, he will score five or more three pointers. So again, we use that greater than trick, the one minus P trick, to help us out with those questions. And I'm just going to change pen colors because we do have a slightly different or trickier question for this next group. So I want to know what's the probability of him getting between three and eight? Three pointers. So let's write down our number line 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'll stop at 10. We need to think what's what numbers would count as between 3 and 5. So it says between, so it, it doesn't say including those. So 3, sorry, 3 and 8. That means the numbers between these would be 4, 5, 6, and 7. So 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we aren't dealing with a whole range. We are just dealing with a portion of it. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go the big range. So we're going to find the probability of this group, which means x is going to be equal to 7. And we're then going to find the probability of that smaller group that we've missed out down the bottom. And that means x will be equal to 3. We're then going to go the probability of the big group minus the probability of the small group, that's going to give us that leftover portion between 4 and 7. So let's go through that. So the first one, the probability that x is equal to or less than 7, that is 0 0.9919. And the probability that x is equal to or less than 3. Well, our x value is now going to be 3 instead. And that's 0 0.6919. So we've got the big group, 1 or 0 all the way to 7. We've now got the smaller group, 0 all the way to 3. And if we go, so the probability that the number of 3 pointers is between 4 and 7. including those numbers though, is equal to the probability of there being less than seven minus the probability of there being three or less. That's gonna be equal to 0 0.9919 minus 0 0.6919. And that amount, I'm just gonna plug that into my calculator to make sure I'm right, 0 0.9919 minus 0 0.6919. That comes to exactly 0 0.3. That means 30% of the time, James Harden will get between 3 and 8, or 30% of the time, he'll either get 3, 5, 6, or 7 three-pointers. So guys, hopefully you found this video on greater than questions useful. Now let's get into some more questions, and let's practice these skills.